If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. And I'm here to help you build one. I'm Babita Tamaya, lecturer, Department of English, Vidyashram Pre-University College, Mysore. We will discuss about the prose Too Dear by Leo Tolstoy. What are we enlightened with? We are enlightened with the content of the chapter has prescribed by the PU board, author's introduction and the synopsis of the chapter. Now, let's see the allocated marks on this chapter. So, we have one mark, one question, four marks, one question. For the one mark questions, you need to read the textbook because most of the time, the questions will be picked from the mid of the text. As prescribed by the PU board, the marks allocated for this chapter is for five marks. Leo Tolstoy is a famous Russian writer, master of realistic fiction, and is widely considered as one of the world's greatest novelists. He is best known for his one of the long novel, War and Peace. Not every time punishment solves the problem, sometimes excuses does. Leo Tolstoy presents to the world a new emergence of law that saves life out of ignorance. The story begins with the description of a place, people and their system of governance. It is a humorous account of the trouble of dealing with the criminal. The tiny little kingdom, Monaco, is located near the borders of France and Italy on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea. In this kingdom, there were only 7,000 inhabitants. And if the land in the kingdom were divided, not all the 7,000 would get an acre of land. But in this kingdom, there was a real kinglet. He had his palace, courtiers, ministers, bishops, generals, and an army of 60 men in all. Bishops. Bishops are the church priests. Courtiers, one a person who seeks in favor. Like all other kingdoms, the king of Monaco used to collect taxes. Like the other kingdoms, the king of Monaco used to collect taxes. What are the commodities the taxes collected on? The king used to collect taxes on tobacco, wine, spirit and poll tax. What do you mean by poll tax? Poll tax is a tax fixed for each and every individual. So why the king used to collect taxes here? Because to feed his officials and courtiers as well as for king himself. But whatever the tax he was collecting, it was not sufficient. So he started with a special source of revenue known as gaming house where the people played roulette. What do you mean by roulette? It is a game of cards or gambling. So what did the people do? The people come and play whether they win or lose but the keeper used to get a percentage on the turnover and out of his profits he has to pay a large sum to the prince but why he has to pay a large sum to the prince because it was the only gaming establishment left in europe the german sovereigns used to keep such gaming houses but some years ago, they refused to do so. What is the reason? The reason is that a man would come, try his luck, risk what he had and lose it. And then again, he would risk money that does not belong to him and lose that too. At last, in desperate, he would drown or shoot himself. For this purpose, the Germans forbid their rulers to make money in this way. But there was no one to stop the king of Monaco and he remained as the only monopoly to continue this business. If the people want to gamble, they go to Monaco. Whether they win or lose, the prince gains by it. 
as the proverb says you cannot earn stone palaces by honest labor it means that if one wants to live beyond his means honest labor cannot fetch him enough money for his luxuries the king knew that it was a dirty business but what to do he has to leave and hold his court with all the ceremony of a king in his kingdom he had his coronation what do you mean by coronation coronation is the crowning ceremony of the king or the queen to take over the authentic powers levies levies is an official reception of guests or visitors rewards sentences and pardons rewards sentences and pardons he also has his reviews councils law court of justice just like other kings but on a very smaller scale in the next session let us see what has happened in the kingdom of monaco and why the king keep on changing his decision in dealing with the criminal that's all about two dear for my two dear students i'll be back at with another session until stay tuned thank you